Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. This is Brandy um, with Sunflowers and Moonbeams and today I am doing a um, VR, a video response that was created by Kyra Getchell at Kyra Getchell. I will link her original video down below. Um, this hashtag is living in tarot and I love this idea and um, it's basically you know decks whose worlds I'd want to live in you know um, decks whose worlds I wish I lived in so um, I went through my collection and picked out the ones that I would love to live in and let's get started all right so the first deck that I have that I want to live in, of course, is the Little Wizard's Tarot. Now, this deck, I want to live in this deck for obvious reasons. This was created by Push Kitty, by the way. Um, this, obviously, as you can tell, is a very magical, lovely Harry Potter world inspired deck. This deck takes me back to my childhood. I have been a hardcore fan since I read the first book in fourth grade many years ago. I've always wanted to be part of this world. I'm an adult and still waiting on my acceptance letter to Hogwarts. <laughs> I absolutely love the stories, the characters, um, the adventures, the magic, the entire world. This, this, if I could pick any world besides reality to live in, it would be this world. This is my dream world where magic like this exists where there is a school for witchcraft and wizardry, where there are magical creatures and wands and all the things that this deck inspires. I love this deck. I use this deck when I want to connect to my inner child, when I'm wanting something more gentle, um, when I'm feeling nostalgic. Now this deck does not come with a guidebook. It's pretty self-explanatory. It is based on the RWS system. So if you know that, you'll be able to read this. But also, if you are a fan of the books or movies, you will be able to read this with no problem because you'll be at least somewhat familiar with the stories and the characters. And you can gather the meanings of the cards from your knowledge and memory of the books or the movies. And this is my number one world I wish that I lived in. All right, and the second world that I wished I'd lived in is in the Mermaid Tarot by Lisa Robertson. This deck puts me into a different type of mystical, magical realm. Under the sea, in the ocean, with all its creatures where mermaids exist. And, I mean, look at it. Look at it. The colors are vibrant. The characters are stunningly drawn. Um, but just this, this fantasy world where there's whole civilizations and, and characters and families that, this is giving me King Triton vibes from the Mer Little Mermaid, um, where all these families and civilizations underwater in the vast depths of the oceans exist, you know, where mermaids are real and the sea is their domain. Oh, look how beautiful. So pretty. Um, I loved mermaids as a child. I love them still as an adult. Um, I love the idea behind them. I love all kinds of little, you know, mermaid stories like the original 
Disney Little Mermaid. I love mermaid movies. I was a big fan of Splash growing up. I don't know if anyone else remembers that movie or not. Um, these are wanting to slide. Hmm. But I love this idea that, look at all those cute little clownfish, that you can live in the ocean and swim like a fish, but you're not exactly a fish. I don't know, it's just something beautiful and mystical and magical about it, and I would love to be a mermaid like this and live in the ocean. I've always felt very connected to the water. I love the ocean. I could literally stay in it just just floating around, being rocked by the waves and swimming, having the fish tickle my feet. I could I could do that all day long. I have many times and got stunned by real bad, but I just love it. This is another deck that I wish I lived in. And moving right along from there, the third world I wish I lived in is the Forest of Enchantment Tarot by Lunea Weatherstone. Now, this deck gives off a whole different magical vibe to me. This deck takes me back to storybooks. It's very earthy, very fantasy-like, very much the kind of thing that I would have had similar illustrations of or similar vibes of in my childhood storybooks. There's centaurs, there's magical creatures that have like human-like qualities, like he's sitting in a chair by a fireplace, come on. There are fairies, there are magic tree houses, I mean, it's just, it's giving me magical vibes. This seems like a world I'd want to live in. Look, there's dragons. Who wouldn't want to live in a world with dragons? Um, it's just the kind of place, unicorns, it's the kind of place where magic happens, where everyday people and magic meet. It's gorgeous. I love the artwork. It, it draws you in, it makes you feel like you are traveling to a mystical realm. That baby dragon, so cute. It's just, it's, it's gorgeous and I would live here. I would live here in a heartbeat in my little forest hut with all the little forest animals channeling my snow white vibe. I would just absolutely love this. It, it, it puts me in that headspace of fairy tales. Fairy tales. And magic. And possibilities that anything can happen. Because of all the different creatures that exist in this realm. In this deck. Look at that the little dwarves and the dragon. I mean, it's just, it's a whole vibe. It's a whole vibe. And that is the third world that I would live in, in tarot. Now this fourth one is The Everyday Witch by Deborah Blake. And I love this deck for many reasons, but I also love this deck because it's whimsical. It's fun. It, it has like a mix mash of fairy tale 
and modern day vibes. Like some of the cards are more fairy tale ish. Oh, I love that sun card. And then some of them take you back to a more modern ish type of vibe. But that's okay. Like this one's more modern looking. But it's whimsical. Like there's a cat in every card somewhere. And they wear these little witchy hats. And their expressions are great. I love their expressions. I mean, look at that. The classic witch on a broom flying in front of the moon. Hello. Um, but I love it. I love the whimsy. It's the, it's the whimsical vibe this deck gives off that I adore. I would live in this world. I would live in this world with all these fun characters, these whimsical characters and all their multitude of cats because I love cats of all kinds. And it just looks fun. I just think it looks so fun. I love her outfit. I would wear that in a heartbeat. I'd like to live in a world where I could dress like this and not, you know, be labeled as cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> I, I just love it. I... Like, I even like the furniture in this and the way they decorate. Like, I love that. Um, I love this Empress card, too. I enjoy this deck very much because it is fun and whimsical. Look how excited she is. The look on this one's face, though. Like, oh, gosh, this hail. But, I mean, see, there's another more modern, vibish one. She's on a motorcycle. So is her cat, which is really funny. Um, but, I mean, why not live here? Look, he gives me the impression he's living in a castle, which makes sense because he's a king. But I want to live where there are castles. I want to live in castles with cats. This deck is fine for me. And I would love to be in this world. And the fifth deck in this hashtag for me is going to be Tarot in Wonderland by Barbara Moore. And I got this deck because I have always, always, always been a fan of Alice in Wonderland. And when I saw this, I was like, yes, take my money. But this is based on Alice in Wonderland. I mean, what more is there to say, really? Look at the Cheshire Cat. If you like these stories, if you grew up with them, you'll understand this deck. If you've read the books, you'll understand it. Um, you'll understand the characters. You'll understand the scenes that's going on. It'll help you read the cards better. But the guidebook in this is fantastic also. So even if you're not that that familiar with the story, the guidebook helps a lot. Um, it's detailed, informative. I enjoy it a lot. Um, even if I do know what's going on in the scene and I remember that part of the story, I still will look up the passage in the guidebook just to read about it. Um, but yeah, the story of Alice in Wonderland, I would live there. I would go on adventures with the Mad Hatter and White Rabbit, and I would take on the Queen of Hearts. Seems like a good time to me. Seems like a real fun time. I mean, yeah, it wasn't always fun for her, obviously. She definitely had her challenges. But the adventure, the story of Alice in Wonderland, I mean, who wouldn't want to be Alice? Who wouldn't want to go on a strange adventure like that? Meet all these strange characters. <laughs> This card always makes me giggle. But I mean, yeah. It's 
it's a world I'd get sucked into. The artwork is fantastic. It's very vibrant and colorful. And it takes me into that world when I use this deck. I would also very much live here. Now that is it for all of the tarot cards, but I do have one Oracle deck in this hashtag and it is the Mystical Wisdom card deck by Gay Guthrie. And I love this Oracle. I know it's Oracle and the hashtag's tarot, but I'm throwing it anyway. Cause like I said in one of my other videos, I use tarot and Oracle interchangeably. So it's all the same to me. Um, First of all, look at all the detail. These cards are so detailed. The artwork is absolutely gorgeous. The colors, absolutely gorgeous. It gives me these ethereal vibes, these mystical fairyland type vibes otherworldly almost and it's gorgeous could you imagine living in a world where everything is this colorful and this vibrant in a world of fairies and angels and I mean look I would live in this world. I would live in this world and be living my best life. It's just, it's magical to look at, I think. It always puts me in a good mood because of that, because of the mystical, magical vibes I get. She's, look at that. This fairy is riding fish. Fish that appear to have butterfly wings. I mean, come on. It is gorgeous. Dragons. Dolphins. Swimming with them. I've always wanted to do that, by the way. Swim with dolphins. Unicorn. Oh, look at that one. Love, 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 love. It is beautiful beyond words. And I love because it's so detailed. There's so, there's so many things like face of a fairy, a unicorn, some creature. Like there's so much detail in these cards that you could stare at it for several minutes before you find all the things. I love it. I love it. And that concludes my version of Kyra Getchell's hashtag living in tarot. Those are all the mystical magical worlds that I would live in from the decks in my collection thus far. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked this video, please click like down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you feel the same about any of them or if you have any decks that um, you would have put on there. Let me know what you would live in, in your tarot decks. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little notification bell down below so you'll know when I post new videos. And uh, if you know anyone that would like this video, also, please don't hesitate to share. I would appreciate it so, so much. And as always, thanks for watching.